We're at the Beam Exhibition in Bilbao, and as you can see, it's absolutely heaving. We've dropped into the owner stand. As you no doubt know, they are world leaders in EDM, so we're going to find out, A, about some of their latest technology, but we're also going to be speaking to a world leader in aerospace technology with EDM. That's Marius. So over to Fur, who's going to have a chat with Marius right now. CNC. Now I'm at the Ona booth at Bilbao in the VM, and here next to me is Marius Petain, who is an aerospace key account manager. So he's the aerospace expert from Ona, and he's going to talk to us a little bit more about how Ona EDM's machine can help the aerospace industry. So right behind me we have the Iris 4. So Marius, tell us a little bit more of how uh, Ona can help us in the aerospace market. Well, absolutely. Ona is very much present in the aerospace market. Uh, Iris 4 machine is our premium machine, uh, die syncing. Uh, we we can have uh, power, very powerful generators on uh, on the machine, up to 400 amps. That the standard in the industry is uh, 100 amps, and uh, we can have uh, four times the power. What does it mean? Actually, it means that uh, the material removal rate can be. Uh, basically four times more than on a standard machine. Uh, with respect to, uh, to certain applications that we do on, on our die sinking machines, we can remove the material very fast and very rapidly with 400 amps uh, generator and we can do roughing on uh, aerospace parts and uh, doing so we can replace conventional machining uh, with the advantages of, uh, of uh, uh, Less investment on the, on the machines and also uh, uh, less money on the consumables. It's like we can combine some processes in just one machine instead of having more machines, right? Right, exactly. And which kind of parts can we manufacture in this machine? Well, we have very, two very good examples here. We have N NGV, which is a stator part for the turbine. Uh, this is a segment, so we do the seal slots on, uh, on those ones. Uh, we use uh, graphite uh, electrodes and uh, uh, benchmarking our machine with respect with, with some other machines. We, we saw an improvement of the machining time up to five, six times. Oh, that's great. And how many axes can we manage in this machine like to do all those parts that you just mentioned? Well, that's, that's another uh, very good question. Uh, in the control, we have eight, uh, eight positions. Okay. Uh, that uh, eight axes that we can we can manage, and uh, there is another another part here where we can use five axes to to machine it, which is a closed IBR. So, Marius, I see that we have here like a very nice control. Yeah. So, how does this work? Can we see like the parts in 3D and move them around? Yes, exactly. Our new Iris control has an, a new interface. It's very user friendly. Uh, we can upload upload the 3D models into our control. Uh, the way we program it is much more easier, uh, much more straightforward, and uh, our customers will like it. Is there any more, or any last advantage or something you want to say about how this can help us in aerospace with, before we move, move to the next machine? Yes, we, uh, we work with, uh, very closely with the customers, uh, providing them uh, turnkey solutions on, on our machine. So, uh, we, we do programming, we do tooling, uh, we help the customers to, uh, to certify the parts because all the parts uh, done by EDM has to be certified. Uh, we can do all this and our machines, again, it's, uh, it's the way to do it. Perfect. So friends, you hear Marius, this is the easiest way to do aerospace part in EDM. So let's move back with Colin who will be in another machine. There, thank you for that. Marius, an absolute expert in the aerospace side of things. But we're now with Andrew. I say but, that's not saying you're not an expert. When people think of owner, they think of high-end premium machines. That's slightly changed. Not saying it's not a premium machine, but what's this? So this is the AD35. It's an entry-level wire machine from owner. And it's our first entry-level machine Okay. The you say entry-level, have they compromised on quality, build, accuracy? No, what they've done is created the opportunity to get a value for money product in the owner range. And this is backed by 
the owner quality, the owner service backup, and the owner experience, 70 years in EDM. Okay, I mean, with these EDM machines, you're doing long cycle times. I mean, the part in there, probably three, four hours, I should imagine, this machine needs to be running. Yeah, it's, what you get with this machine is reliability. You get um, a very reliable functional technology with this machine. You get a very reliable wire thread with this machine. So you've got reliable job to job, start hole to start hole. You've got very good cut rate with this machine. The only thing you might be compromising on is a couple of micron to five micron. But if you if you look at jobs, say from three to five micron, then you're going to be you know looking real specialist jobs. This, specialist is, this job, is the so. machine that is going to fit the market about ninety percent of the time. Okay. When you say to cut technology, though, what actually happens with this machine? What's it doing? So what you're looking at in cut technology is the experience that the owner have in being able to cut different materials at different heights, different speeds, and also the, the ability to cope with different problems within the cut cycle. So within the actual groove itself, what are you coming across? Have you got good flushing conditions? Have you got inclusions? Have you got powder left in there from an, an AM process? This machine will deal with those problems. Well, so it's basically make it very simple for someone, maybe the first time they've used an owner machine or first time they've even used EDM. Exactly, yeah. So coming to that then, what about the controls? Simple to use? Very simple to use, touch screen, um, easily programmed. You can use uh, different files in there, so there's, there's no problems with regard to programming. Okay. Also, they, you know, the situation we're in at the moment in terms of power and usage and things like that, they've got the digital generator, is that correct? It's the digital generator. Um, you've got a lot of functions on here which people would expect from a higher level machine. What you've got is um, normal filtration on this system, um, but you've got the ability here to use brass wire, so you're not being held to ransom on a, a coated wire. Right. You'll get top performance from a brass wire. Okay, and that brass wire, what happens if it snaps? Because it does snap occasionally. You've got an excellent, reliable rethread on this system. Right, so essentially I could be running this 24-7. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's a brief insight into the latest machine from Honor. A premium machine, but an entry-level machine. Exactly, yeah. When you're thinking Honor, you will be thinking EDM, I'm sure, but they've got a brand new product, and the eagle-eyed amongst us will have seen this is, well, Alberto, what is it? This is an additive machine uh, using laser melting technology. This is a machine that is uh, a natural evolution for us because it is using, it's able to make things that our machines cannot do. Okay. Your, well, your, design, your machines could make them, but you have to do lots of them maybe? Not, not really, because oh. this technology allows to make uh, pieces and processes that today is not possible to be done in other way. Really impossible. Give me an example. For example, we are very good suppliers in the, in the world of the diamond mold. Molds need a very good uh, cooling because they need to take out the pieces when they are injecting plastics or aluminium or whatever. So improving this, this uh, cooling, uh, you need to follow the surface of the mold very closely. Today, the technology only allows to make some holes by drilling that is very inefficient. With this, you can make, it doesn't matter what uh, the geometry inside in very crazy ways that make make it very, very efficient. Really a big leap in the future for molten efficiency. So I'm getting with this, you can make, there's no limit to the parts you can make. The only limit is your imagination. That's it. Uh, if you can draw it, practically you can do it. Okay. In the past was almost not the case, really. Okay. So this is 3D laser printing. What materials? Uh, in this moment, this machine is prepared to work with uh, steel alloys and uh, nickel alloys, both. Uh. Uh, this model is not prepared to work in explosive uh, atmosphere, but they are versions to work with aluminium, titanium, and some alloys of the same that are really more delicate because the, the pot work is uh, explosive. Really. Okay, so what sort of market? Who would be buying this sort of machine? This kind of machine is by a technical center, companies making prototyping, uh, uh, people making pieces uh, that need a special internal structure for cooling, for example, uh, mold producers. Also in their space, they use this because they allow to make very fine structures that you cannot do in another way. Okay, so making really complex parts, and it's very easy to use if I've not used this before. Yes, you have drawn already in 3D the piece. Really the machine only is uh, taking the data from the 3D and making the piece. 
of course, you have to have some training, some knowledge of the materials, but it's uh, rather easy to, to create a piece if you have already it in your mind, in your drawing. Okay, now on a, uh, based in the Basque region in Spain, but in, in England and Ireland it's supported by CNC International? Yes, that's it. Okay, but what happens, I mean there's a very powerful laser for example, what happens if something goes wrong with this? Do I yes. get that support from those guys? Uh, CNC has a very good technical support, but a part of this, the machine has been designed in a way that the report, repairs are very easy. We can see some kind of modular machine that uh, anything is uh, plug and play. So if something is broken, you can have another piece, take one out, take one in. If the one who is uh, broken or has a defect, send back to the factory. So the repair is really very, very easy. There is no need to make a special yeah. alignment. Everything is rather very easy. We thought in making it very, uh, very friendly for the end user. Even an end user can do it. They have the repair on hand. Uh, they have a problem, okay? The machine will tell you, I have a problem with the filtration, okay, take this, put this, finish. Right, so it's all made very simple. Yes. So, very, in very simple terms, of it, Alberto, I go to Honor for my 3D printing machine. It's, yes. a, it's a high quality machine, but it's very, it's very low cost. Yes, not really a low cost, but it's an affordable cost affordable. for a high technology. For high technology, which you'd expect from Honor as well. So they, they have, in terms of 3D printing, there's no limit to what apart from your imagine to what, what you're going to make on these machines, that's from Honor, and so they're providing a high quality 3D, a laser printing machine. Yes, that's it. Thank you, Alberto, that's fantastic, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>